We are talking about weasels today, specifically the Kolinsky weasel. This is a weasel from Russia, and what makes it such a cute little animal and special is that uh, the tail fibers of it are, are highly sought out for all sorts of different type of brushes and uh, oil painting watercolors, but especially in the dental ceramic world, a Kolinsky sable brush is what you're looking for. You know, we started doing some research <laughs> and we found out how difficult it is actually to get these Russian weasel sable brushes. Yeah, it's all politics stuff on import stuff yeah. and everything. There's some rumors that these are going extinct. Mm -hmm. It's not really that. It's just hard to get the, the table fibers imported in the U.S. So a lot of manufacturers uh, probably in the U.S. aren't using Russian Kolinsky's uh, anymore. They're more of a Chinese, Chinese version yeah. and a Korean version. My all-time favorite brush that I've ever used, I mean, I've used this thousands of times. It's in our Stain and Glaze video, a Vita Kolinsky Sable brush. And you know they're from Russia because they're more of a red color. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Chinese version and Korean version, they tend to be more of a dark mm -hmm. version, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just, this, these are the original uh, brush types. It was crazy whenever Dr. Like, you know, cause we have several different kinds of brushes in our lab, but whenever he told me that he's been using this for like the better part of 18 years, yeah. you know, and it's still, you can get such a fine point with the Kalinsky brush. And that's kind of how you know the difference between the actual Kalinsky how brushes. Did you, how'd you sharpen that So up? you just put it in um, our diluting liquid that we usually have out um, on our glass slab. And then, I mean, you barely have to touch it and you'll get a fine point with yeah. that brush. So you can get very fine detail yes. in it. Now, there's a lot of manufacturers that make Kalinsky brushes. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like Ivoclar Vivident has uh, this one, very small mm -hmm. point to it as well. So you get that kind of feature for it. Now the, the one thing though that I've never really even thought about is the handle. Right. And so at Dents by Serona World, we ran into the Harvest Dental people who are, they make very high end lab products mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, milling pucks. They have all sorts of different materials like dentures and they make a great peg material, which we'll cover in another video. But we started using their, their fusion brushes and you know, as soon as we walked by the booth, and we were just kind of checking everything out, but you picked that brush up. One, kind of the weight of it, not only mm -hmm. the size. I mean, as you can see, it's kind of fatter towards the bottom of the brush, so it just kind of gives you more stability when you're using it. But kind of the, the weight of it also, I mean, when you pick it up, you've got great control over it, and you know that you're actually holding something that's good quality, and it feels great in your hand. So they have a Kolinsky Sable uh Fi uh, hair fiber mm -hmm. core through it and then they use artificial brushes around the base of it to help support it mm -hmm. even more so and so I've always been I always recommended the smallest brush for doctors in our little mm -hmm. world we're just staying glazed we need small 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 not big and so I've right. always avoided a the brush that looks something like like this mm -hmm. because you know that's like to me that's like something we'd stack ceramic right. with that outer core has the, a very stiff artificial brush, and then on the inner side is that Kolinsky mm -hmm. sable just right at the tip. So yeah, when you see yeah. that bend right at the end, mm -hmm. and you can hardly feel that glaze yeah. go on it. You know, and we, um, our class that we just had this past weekend, um, all the doctors got to use these mm -hmm. brushes. And you know, some of those restorations were the best that we've seen in any of our classes. And I think they were all really amazed at how good these brushes were and how easy they were to use and the fine detail that they could get with them. You know, one of the really cool things also about these brushes, you know, not, not only the quality of the handle and the weight of them and the ease of use, but is they're actually, I'm not sure why you would ever need to replace the tip because these last a long time, but they're actually magnetic. And so you can, you know, replace just the tip without having to replace the handle. Or you could share them with your friends. Right, you yes. <laughs> I have one to paint my fingernails and one to paint the restoration. You could I totally. Mean, you know. Or I, I imagine they sell, or I don't know, maybe maybe they just sell the tips in one handle and you can just right, switch them through. Right, and switch them out yeah. maybe. But what I like with that with that magnet at the at the end of it, it gives it more weight. So mm -hmm. it's it's really balanced. And I'm actually really shocked how much easier it is to make a very defined line with, with it. With these, yeah. 
So when you're in the market for uh, good brushes, at least consider the Harvest Dental uh, Fusion, Fusion brushes. Uh, you're gonna love these things. What are we talking about today, Cindy? Today we are talking about Harvest <laughs> Dental. <laughs> yes, perfect. Oh, no, Let, my we're talking about right. little weasels. <laughs> little weasels? Little weasels. Oh my God, my chair in there. <laughs> <laughs> 